my wheelchair is now literally being held together with duct tape. A screw from my joystick stopped working and is now just flopping all over the place. So we're holding it together with duct tape. I think it's time for a new wheelchair. Every time I've ever been to a doctor, ever, they've all asked me the same question. Do you have any skin breakdown, pressure sores developing, things like that? Pain. Ever, yeah, pain. I've always said no. Mm -hmm. 28 years of my life, the answer's always been no to the point where I'm like, why are they asking this? Yeah. Like, I, Is it that common? It's not something that happens mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, what the heck? No. I now have two legitimate pressure sores. <laughs> and you have officially <laughs> they are said to a doctor. Yes. Yes. I have skin breakdowns. <laughs> now I understand why you're asking. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my pressure sores, which I know <laughs> you're all dying to know about. They've been making my life miserable mm -hmm. and painful and annoying. But... There is hope on the horizon. Oh, my God. <laughs> Come with us on this journey. This pressure, <laughs> pressure sore safari. <laughs> That's the title, pressure sore safari. No, it is not. Right there. People will be like, what is that? Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Thank you to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video. I want to show you guys what my life has been like lately. Hey Shane. Uh-huh. Do you want to watch a show with me? Maybe. In a bit. I think. I'm so close to being this level. I made brownies. You want one? Eh. I'm a little busy. Um, want to cuddle in bed? No, thank you. Yes. Okay, to be fair, we have both been playing Best Fiends nonstop. We love it. And I'm a higher level than Shane. Not for long. Not for long at all. By quite a bit. And I'm keeping my lead. We've been literally competing with each other. Uh, every night I'll be on my level. You know, what, what, you get what are you on right now? 37. I'm on 80. 81. I just got to 81. You play more than me. Though. We started at the same time. It's not I'm fair. just better. Not fair. Best Fiends is a free-to-download puzzle adventure game where you solve thousands of fun puzzles. You can also collect and level up these cute characters called Fiends. I don't like to think of mine as cute. I like to think of them as well-trained warriors that help me beat every level. They're all so cute. Leveling up my Fiends is my favorite part of the game. I get a lot of satisfaction out of like building up their abilities and knowing that like in the next level, they'll be able to attack that much better. Mm. I earned that. I love to be doing something with my hands while I watch TV, and this is my new go-to. I play Best Fiends, and so I, you know, can like tune in and out of TV, right, play well, my game. This isn't fair. That's why you're higher than me, because you play while we're watching TV. I don't play there enough. But it's not my fault that you can't focus on more than one thing at once. My style of play is more quality over <laughs> quantity. <laughs> So download the game for free using our link in the description below and you will get $5 worth of diamonds and gold if you beat level 5. That's not fair, all of you. You're going to get a head start. <laughs> Remember, it's Best Fiends without the R. Best No, friends. Best Fiends. Friends without the R, not Fiends uh, without the R. <laughs> the game is Best Fiends like Friends without the R. Oh. Fiends. Mm -hmm. They are your fighters. Okay. Fiends. If you remember when we were in Northfield a couple of videos ago, um, when we were having lunch, we told you about uh, some pain that Shane was having on his hip. I guess his butt, he said. His hip and his tailbone. My coccyx. And uh, so that has been going on for a couple of weeks. And the other night when I was helping Shane get into bed, he was like, please look at my hip. <sighs> Like, my poor hip. I was being melodramatic. Yeah. Turned out it wasn't. 
<laughs> well, it, I looked at his hip, and there is a red, like, a pressure sore. Like, yeah. the beginning of one. It hasn't, there's no, like, um, you like, know, like, open wound or anything. It's not like the skin has broken through yet, but yeah. it is red, which is the beginning of a pressure sore. They don't look, you know, particularly nasty. Well, there's another one, too, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then there's one on his tailbone. Um, but the, they can very easily, if you don't fix them, turn into, like, horrible problems that take years to go away. And the problem is that those two spots are pretty much always under pressure. Under pressure hence the fact that yeah. I have pressure sores. When I sit in my chair, my tailbone area is pressing on my seat, and I, it's not very easy to relieve that. Mm -hmm. When I lay in bed at night, either my tailbone, if I'm on my back, or my left hip when I'm laying on my left side mm -hmm. are under pressure. I cannot sleep on my right side. Yeah. So... So when, when Shane's been sleeping at night, we've been putting like a donut pillow under his hip, which has helped. Like he can sleep through the night then because it's it's alleviated. So um, I mean, I've been waking up a lot because the, the donut pillow then presses on my tailbone area. Yeah. So I wake up at like 3 a.m. and I'm like, going back. Oh, tailbone, I need to readjust. Yeah. But it's been helping. Yeah. But every night it was still, we still had to do that. Like it wasn't getting better. Um, so when we were at the wheelchair appointment, which I guess, why don't you intro that now? Because uh, people are going to be like, what? <laughs> I'm getting a new wheelchair. Uh, so I had my evaluation, which is like the first step yeah. for a new wheelchair. It's a very long process, um, like months and months, maybe up to a year uh, that it will take. But I had that at Gillette, what was it, a couple days ago? Two days ago, And yeah. during that process, they asked me, the famous question, do you have pain, skin breakdown, soreness? And I kind of laughed and was like, mm -hmm. yep, really bad. And I explained it to them. And we thought that the gel pack in Shane's seat had popped. That's what we told them. That's what we told you in the video in Northfield. field. Yeah. So we're like, we think it popped. That's happened before. And when you feel the seat, there's nothing there except for... Like, the, the really hard foam that's sitting on top of the metal. Yeah. And thankfully, even though it wasn't the purpose of that medium, yeah. they were like, oh, well, let's just get you out and we'll evaluate and see what we can do. Yeah. I'm so thankful for that. Yeah. So Shane laid down uh, and they took the seat off the chair. They were looking at it and the the gel pack was not popped. Yeah. The gel, so, so the funny. seat is sort of like this. The gel was not in the middle. It was completely pushed to the side. So Shane was just sitting on the really hard styrofoam, essentially, that was underneath. And they said to him a very, like, matter-of-factly, they were like, so are you massaging this gel into place every day? We were like, excuse me? And I was like, what? No. Shane told me not to touch it. You know? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they were like, but you have to knead it, like dough. And I was like, no one has ever told me that. And Shane does not like me to touch the seat no. because then it gets it out of the perfect shape. And yeah. they were like, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> I've always been under the impression that the seat forms to my butt. Yeah. And then you leave it. Like, that's what it's supposed to do. So for 28 years. I was wrong. No one has thought to tell Shane uh, how to deal with the seat of his wheelchair. So they needed it back into position. Yep. And then they were like, are you having any other issues? with it while you're here and I was like oh yeah actually behind my right knee the leg that's shorter than the other um it's been really really painful that's and, like hence the book under his foot if you recall yeah yeah and they did some measurements and they were like oh well that's because your seat is about two inches too long on that side yeah they were like how have you been using this for seven years or whatever <laughs> it's been um and they were like, why don't we just cut it for you? Yeah. I was like, yes, no. thank you. So they got this giant <laughs> saw, just big powered knife, and they cut through it. <laughs> and uh, at first, the seat was like horribly uncomfortable. Like Shane basically couldn't sit in it. It felt like a new wheelchair. I was like, they had to put me in, and I was like, yeah. help, help. <laughs> uh, but like, I think the next day, after he had used it all that day, it finally like formed into the right spot. And now... I'm... I'm feeling much better. Yeah. I, as of right now, my tailbone is not pressing in the, on the back of the seat in a painful way. My knee feels beautiful. Mm -hmm. I, I feel gel under my butt, so that's nice. So I think that that is going to be the solution for the pressure sores. You yeah. Know? Now, 
that were getting the pressure off in the bed and like also in your chair. Uh -huh. Hopefully now they'll just go away because they haven't been hurting. So. And we're monitoring it closely. Yeah. Everyone's going to say like, did we doctor, did we doctor? Well, we did. I mean, we they did, know about yeah. it. Um, but we are monitoring it and, you know, at the first sign of pain, I'm yeah. readjusting to take pressure off. So like we said, this wheelchair appointment was just like the really beginning steps. Uh, nothing was cemented. It was pretty, uh, like intense though. Yeah. There were like five people all grilling me. Uh-huh. Like, you know, how much did you move your arms? Yeah. Move your head this way. Does your butt ever hurt? Yeah. How long are your legs? Yeah. How uh, high is the sandals? Oh well, yeah, like both for fitting the new wheelchair and also um what the main purpose of the appointment was was to have the occupational therapist write a letter of medical necessity to Shane's insurance company that he still needs a wheelchair. So the questions were mostly like, uh, you know, what do you use your wheelchair for? And like, you know, basically like, why do you need one? Which is ridiculous, but necessary. If you remember when I got my JK robotic arm, there was the fight with insurance having to really prove that it would be necessary mm -hmm. to my life. Yeah. A wheelchair is no easier. Yep. In fact, you have to fight for every aspect of it. So like right now, I have a feature that elevates me so that I can reach a table or my desk or the sink or whatever. And they fly out told me, like, insurance is going to deny this. Yeah. So we need to have all the reasons available why you need it. Yeah. They said the biggest one was actually... Um, to elevate to like look people more closely in the eye because if you have to tip your head back, Shane can't tip his head back because it'll just like fall. What? <laughs> but now I can show. Well, and now you can't get your head up. So basically they were saying um, what insurance wants to know is that from putting your head up and getting it stuck, you're going to have neck pain and have to go to the doctor. It's basically if it's going to cost them more money yeah. to have you ill or sick or injured, yeah. um, then they'll pay for the seat elevator to prevent that. So it's all basically just how much are you going to cost them, which is pretty ridiculous. I think people have a perception that, like, wheelchairs are covered. Like a given or something? Yeah. yeah. Like, if you need your wheelchair, you'll get one. Nope. Nope. Not. You were denied a, an entire wheelchair once, right? Yep. And then after that, I was denied, like, different parts of it along the way. The feet rest. I had to fight each one. Yeah. I ended up paying out of pocket for the elevated foot rests. I like, <laughs> if I don't stretch my legs... During the day, yeah, I become extremely tight and full of pain. Yeah, and they still were like, "Nah, not enough. Don't need that." So I had to pay. Oh, it was like four thousand dollars. I mean, my parents paid for it. Thank you, mom and dad. Uh, this was a while ago. A long, long time ago. Yeah, um, but it's going to be a fight, and I'm nervous about that. But yeah. also excited to get a new chair. Yeah, they were all so positive. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think. Shane is worried about this process because of how everything gets denied and it takes, you know, it'll be about four months before there's actually a, a new chair to try out. Um, and the people there were like, you're going to love your new chair. Yeah. Like, this chair is so old and yeah. you can't even get replacement parts for it. Like this is the perfect time to switch. And, you know, you have no idea about all the new technology that there is. Like it's going to be amazing. So I think that really helped Shane feel a little bit better about doing this whole process. They were talking to me all about the different like seating options that are now available that weren't available to me eight years ago when mm -hmm. I got this. All the new joysticks and methods of driving my chair. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a fun process. So after we got home from the appointment, Shane's occupational therapist sent him a like maybe three or four wheelchairs to look at yeah. online. Look at all the different features and what they look like. And once he picks one, they will set up a demo for him to try it out. So basically, they'll take the seat out of this chair. Um, the cushion just slides out and they'll uh -huh. put it in that chair. They'll try to like, you know, create all the supports that he needs to see what it would kind of feel like. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing is going to be driving it because it's going to be a mid-wheel drive. Basically, there's going to be two little wheels on the outside and then a big wheel in the center. So it's going to be a lot different than Shane's rear wheel drive that he does now. So, you know, he has to test that and make sure that he likes it before he buys it. It's going to feel entirely different, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Yeah. Probably not during the demo. <laughs> during the demo, I'm going to be like, hey, but <laughs> afterwards, I'll get used to it. Do you know when that would be, the demo? 
No, I, I need to just let them know what chair mm. I want and then probably a few weeks mm. until they get all the parts together. We'll let you know. We'll, we'll film the demo. Yeah, as definitely. Best we can. So that's where I'm at. Once, <laughs> once these uh, pressure sores are finally healed, I am, I'm done with all medical stuff. Wow. I'm totally good then. You're declaring that? Rot tooth is over with. Pressure sores are done. Foot that got injured in the fall is better. Wow, you're going way back. Everything's good now. Hmm. Let's hope for a, a pain-free summer.